Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to today's video. I am sharing how I paint these signs that I make the black stripe border around as well as the plaid pattern. And uh, I recently did one for a St. Patrick's Day wreath and this one I'm doing for a wreath that I keep on my back door that I got from Cracker Barrel. But uh, I also just finished a Cricut tutorial and I want wanted to to show you how I hand painted the sign and uh, I will link to the Cricut tutorial if you would like to see how I created the home sign for my family. I'm starting with a 14 inch wood circle from Hobby Lobby and I gave it a coat of the plaster color chalk paint. Uh, this is just what I had on hand and what I decided to use because I wanted a more creamy off-white color. All right, so I'm using a half inch flat paintbrush and some black paint. And so I'm just starting somewhere and going around uh, the edge of the sign just you know, I have been doing this for so long that I kind of know how to eyeball it. Uh, but, you know, if you want to pull out your ruler or a tape measure or use a mat to kind of uh, space out your um, checkerboard, um, then that would be, you know, a preference that you could use or an option for you to use. So I'm just going around, uh, you know, the edge of it about a half of an inch into the edge of it and then I'm going to show you when I get here to the uh, end uh, because I got my stripes just a little bit uh, too close together at the end so what I do is I just go back and you know kind of thin those up a little bit when it is too close together you can kind of see there so I'm using that same uh, chalk paint as well as my black paint to go back and redo it now I was impatient and was you know it was the black was not dry yet so I have to go back and fix that too so I should have you know took my heat tool and uh, let it you know dried it up so that I could you know it ended I ended up doing more work for myself so but usually what I do is if I get my stripes or my checkerboard a little too close I'll just go back in with the paint and clean it up a bit and I just take my brush and just paint around the edge of it uh, just to you know make sure that it has black around the edges all right now I'm going to be making a uh, plaid background and I like to use my fan brush for this this is just my favorite way to do it and uh, I'm going to be using drizzle gray that's the color of paint that I'm using for my background and so I just take my fan brush and um, just you know dip it in the paint and then just kind of um, you know kind of shake some of it off if I need to I try to start slow just to see how much coverage I'm gonna get and so then as again um, you know I've been a painter for several years uh, thank you Lord for the gifts and talents that you've given to me and so so I have uh, you know kind of been doing this for so long I know how to eyeball it and if I get too close or get too far apart then I just go back over it and fix it up and and clean it up a little bit and so that's what one of my main things that I uh, you know read your comments and I hear people say that they tried it or they want to try it and they're too scared or they mess up and then you know it's just paint guys you can you know yes it may take a little bit more time but you can paint over it and you can start again and so that's the thing is if you're not gonna learn how to do it until you try and so I have been painting many many years I was determined to learn how to do it I stuck with it and you know what if we put our you know good faith forward God will do the rest now I am using some sage color chalk paint and uh, I'm using a quarter inch flat paintbrush and just going around uh, in between like where the black and that you know kind of like where the border is and so I'm not being a very precise I kind of like make a waving motion and uh, you know that's what I like to do a little bit it just kind of helps me with you know having to keep stuff straight and so I just go around in between that and give it just a little border so just to kind of give it color and since I was putting this sign on uh, a wreath that I had picked up from Cracker Barrel 
a couple of years ago. I have it hanging on the back of my door. Uh, I've had it there for years. And so when I needed to make a project using my Cricut, I thought about that would be perfect to make this sign. And so that's why I'm using this uh, sage color chalk paint of green because it the wreath has all those beautiful green colors in it. Then I'm taking my liner brush and that same green paint and uh, just kind of, you know, enhancing the plaid uh, background just a bit. And then uh, I will clean up any of the stripes uh, just with the black paint or the uh, plaster paint. I will just clean up anything that maybe like I got the gray paint on or the green paint a little bit too close. I just go around and clean that up like that. And then um, next what I'm going to do, I'm using a um, stylist uh, that I got from the Dollar Tree and just making some polka dots just in between those uh, stripes just to give it some you know just some character and just give it a, a pattern and uh, that to get my dots consistent I dip in the paint every single time and that gives me consistent dots all right so then um, now I'm using uh, some uh, white paint and my half inch flat paintbrush and then I go around and I'm just kind of I'm not really giving a whole thick border. I'm just kind of doing a highlight, just a shading around the edges. And then um, once I finish that, then I'm gonna use my black Sharpie marker because that's what I love to do It's my best friend. I'm just gonna go around and give it some doodling just to, you know, add to, you know, just my touch. And then also I'm gonna end with some black splatter paint and so I've been getting some questions on the splatter paint what I do guys is I use a stiff brush and a stick but you can use whatever you want but I just run the stick across the bristles one time toward my body the paint then projects onto my sign or whatever I'm using um, I do not run the stick over the bristles away from my body because then the paint would be all over me. So I hope that that makes sense and I hope that helps someone. So what I did to make the home sign, I used my Cricut Explorer 3 and I designed everything in design space. Guys, in the other video that I have linked here uh, with this video, it's in the description box as well as in the iCard. I you know, take it step by step. I put it in slow motion of how I designed everything in Cricut Design Space and then how I cut it out on my Cricut and adhered it to my board. All right, guys, I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know and uh, we will talk to y'all very soon. God bless.